How is everyone today? It's Chris here from techtablets.com and I've got the P98 in front of me. This is the updated version of the P98 Air which had the all winner A80 TCPU in it. Now the newer version Tech Labs have now put a MediaTek 64 bit CPU in there. It's an octa core and that is paired up with a, a Mali T760 GPU. The same GPU that's in the Note 4. So here's the Antutu 5.6.2 score, it's just over 40,000. Let's just show you the details here. Now sorry about the reflection, there's a lot of reflection off the screen. It's been a touch screen and it's uh, quite a sunny afternoon. So that's not a bad score at all. Uh, that is definitely higher than what I've seen on other tablets, well dual boot tablets. This is slightly higher. And I will just go and show you now CPU Z, just for more information on the chipset that's being used here. So you can see that it's a um, ARM Cortex A53 and there are the 8 cores there on the Mali T760. And just after running that benchmark, the temperature seemed pretty low. I, mean, I haven't run any gaming or anything hard enough to get that warm, which I will do later on. I'll do another video, there'll be another video online showing you gaming on this tablet here, the P98 4G. I will just run now Geekbench and see what kind of score that gets. So you can see there, that's the CPU, that's the MediaTek 8752. And it does support 64-bit, but this is only Android 4.4.4, which doesn't support it. Well, at least this version is not using a 64-bit kernel. It's only a 32-bit one. So we need to wait for Android 5 Lollipop to come through that update from TechLast, which is hopefully not too far away. Anyway, I'll just go on and now run this benchmark and see what kind of score the P98 can get. Okay, so the benchmark's just finished, and there are our scores. So the single core score of 781, multi-core of 3,663. So that's not too bad of a result. That's actually quite good. And I'll just compare that now here with the Onda V919. It's a dual boot system, and I'm running... Uh, it's running, sorry, it's running the... Intel Z3736 and you can see that that scored a lot better the P98 on the multi-core score that is single core the fast Intel that pops up to 2.16 has a slight advantage there it's not really that much greater this uh, chipset in here goes up to 1.7 gigahertz some more details there. So it is behind the the Nexus 5 and slightly above the Samsung S4. That's single core performance. Multi-core you see that it's actually quite good. Well it has eight cores there so that score is quite high. A lot higher than one of the devices they've listed there at the moment. Uh, my Note 4 for example gets 4247 for the multi-core and for the single it gets 1266 so it's not too bad the performance so far and I'll just go in and check out now 3D Mark and have a look what scores it gets that's a bit slow there we go run
Okay, I'm actually just going to pause this and let this run because it's going to go through the force me to go through the demo, and we don't want to have to sit through all of that. So I'll just pause the video now and then resume once the results are shown. All right, so here's the score of a 3D Mark, 6,398. That's not a bad score at all. Uh, that's actually quite good. And how that compares to another device, well, there's, uh, let's see if I can do that when I go back into the My Device Benchmarks. Okay, so can't compare that to any other devices at the moment. Well, I'll try and see if I can do another video and compare this against the Onda V919. And just last off, I will quickly run uh, Unity and see what kind of score the TechLast P98 4G gets. I'll just do this in 720p. All right, now let that test just run, and that's the score we got is 9.80. Rather than have to sit through the whole benchmark, which takes a little bit of time. So that is just some benchmarks that I've run, as you've seen here for the on the uh, sorry on the TechLast P98 Air. If you'd like to see any other benchmarks, please just leave me a note in the comments of this video, and I'll see if I can run them for you and post a video on that benchmark. Thanks for watching the video, and please do subscribe if you're interested in this tablet and more Chinese tablets because I will have more devices up and coming later on that you can see. Thanks for watching the video and hopefully see you in my next one. Bye for now.